started about mid-April. The idea was it for to, to be done by about this time summer started, but we just kept getting more ideas and we just kept wanting to go bigger. We built one about two summers back, same kind of structural integrity, but nothing to the scale of this one. It got vandalized, so this time around we decided we want to go bigger. I personally probably put about 400, 450 hours into it. I had upwards of 30 other guys put numerous hours into it. Over the course of everyone, probably a good, like, I don't know, 2,000 hours. It's actually a couple of Vanya students where I work. Um, they start to put it together and you see them hauling their stuff in here, materials. They're very clean with the environment and, and never cause any mess or fuss. Uh, I thought it was incredible. They did an amazing job. It was structurally sound and um, a lot of the kids would come and play on it with their parents. Everything's kind of went down this last whole week. There was supposed to be a kind of a DJ event there this weekend and I, I knew about that and that got me a little worried because I knew the publicity from that would have been big. So we spent the last whole week trying to brace everything, make it all safe. We added railings and made everything a lot more secure. Woke up the next morning to it half being deconstructed. I can understand why they would do it with insurance and stuff like that, but we hadn't had any issues all summer long with parties or anything, so it's kind of sad that it did have to be taken down. That's what I heard, yeah. The D&D took it down, so, but the reasoning, that's what we heard because it was anticipating a party, but yeah, it's sad. I mean, obviously I, I get it's a liability for the city. We did our best to try to make it safe and maybe they'd let it slide, but it was on military base property. We didn't really intend it to be that at the start, but we kind of realized after. Bringing it back. Uh, the whole reason for me kind of making it bigger was a couple months ago, my grandpa passed away. So it, for me, it was kind of a, a mine takeoff and I would just go out there and build for him in a way. So I, I do dedicate that for it to him right. as well as all my other friends who helped me along the way. Well, my dad is a carpenter, so he kind of showed me the ropes of the basics. I was a roofer for two years. Everyone else that helped me along the way has been in their own trades. So everyone kind of had a little bit of something to contribute. Like, I would have liked it to be out here. I would say the biggest learning experience was if you, if you want to just go and try something, even though you don't know what's going to happen, you might as well just do it. Uh, I've had a lot, tons and tons of feedback saying that people love this last four month journey and they look forward to seeing what I do next. And I run my own handyman service in town. A handyman service? Yeah. Okay, so you could build this for someone in their backyard. Totally. <laughs> hey, the, the dream would be to be hired by someone and just go on to build a beach for it anyway.